the Virginia Tech Hokies are going to the ACC Championship. One of the final chapters to a turbulent season wrote itself Saturday afternoon as the Hokies defeated rival UVA 17-14 for the Commonwealth Cup and the right to defend their ACC title. Coach Beamer said after the game that this trip in many ways would be more special than others in the past, and senior boundary corner Macho Harris agrees. Definitely. I mean, you know, because we've been through so much adversity this year, you know, and for another team to be as young as us and try to accomplish the same goals, I know it'd be tough, but for us to accomplish this goal and be it at the ACC, it means a whole lot, man. I mean, a whole lot. Just the younger guys, man. I, Man, them younger guys, they, they warm me up inside, man, because they leave it out on the line for us. Quarterback Tyrod Taylor led the way with one of his most balanced games of the season, 137 rushing yards and exactly 137 yards through the air on 12 for 18 passing. He also finds something extra special in the accomplishment. Uh, but we always we always kept strong in the team. Like I said, the team always believed since day one that we could get here, and we're here now. Just got to go out there and keep playing. But it was Dorian Porch who made the two huge plays in this game, stopping Vic Hall on a breakaway run that would have been a touchdown for the Wahoos late in the game, and making an interception in the end zone with under three minutes to play as UVA went into field goal range. And I see them looking over there the whole time. I kind of I didn't want to run over right away. Waited for him, baited him into the throw, and um, took it. Despite the parody in the league this year, when it's all said and done, it'll be a rematch next Saturday in Tampa between Boston College and Virginia Tech. And if history does indeed repeat itself, the Hokies have an opportunity for sweet revenge in the game that really matters. In Lane Stadium, I'm Ryan Call for Plester.net, the College Network.